Hi. So today we're going to uh, do a review on uh, the Chinese microscope, the Ikens from China. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys what you can uh, see from the microscope and how good it is. Is it worth buying? Yeah, it's worth buying it. The microscope is solid. The articulated arm is great. You can come see here and have a look here. The arm is great. It's very solid. It can go up, down. You can move it any way you want. Which I think it's great if you have, uh, if you are limited with space and you need uh, to move the microscope around and uh, when you don't use it, you just uh, send it aside and that's it. It can move anywhere to any side. It's fairly good. Now, as for the microscope itself, uh, I can't compare it to other microscopes because uh, I never had any other one. I did have few cameras uh, like uh, Andonstar and uh, the Ekins camera, which uh, I think they are fairly good for inspection. If you're doing soldering, if you're doing uh, micro soldering, the problem with this, it will be hard to do soldering with the cameras. You need a microscope to do soldering and uh, that's why I think it's a good buy to buy the Ekins microscope. I think it's okay, it's a good deal. The prices are not high and I will try to show you here. You can have a look here and see how it looked like. Now, what you see, you need to bear in mind that what you see with the microscope itself, it's not the same as you see in the in uh, in the camera the microscope is much much better it is uh it is uh it is much wider and much better quality and as you can see here it's uh the image quality is really really good it's always moving so and have a look at this now it's really steady really good you'll be able to see. Now, regarding uh, regarding uh, which microscope to buy, there are a few options in uh, AliExpress. I bought this one. This is the microscope. It's a similar focal three and a half to 90 zoom trinocular. trinocular. I'm not using the 90, I'm using the 3.5 to 45 to 22. And that's really enough for soldering. I bought this set. Uh, most of the sets is not really needed. Uh, what you need is this line, the Barlow line, the 0 0.5. Without it, actually, you can't do anything. I bought this one, the black one. I don't know if there is a difference between the black and the white, but yeah, I bought this one with the articular arm. It's uh, for my needs, for soldering, it's, it's great, in my opinion. Uh, you can't do soldering nowadays without microscope. It's it's really needed. Um, now, if I don't recommend buying cameras, the cameras that uh, that they are selling all over it doesn't really matter if it's good quality, better quality, or you know higher quality or less. But the idea is that you cannot solder with a camera. It's, it's harder, it's harder to use uh, the camera and to solder the brain. Our brain is not really uh, well functioning if you don't have your hands under. So uh, with the camera, it's good to do inspection. I did buy the Andalstar camera, which is uh, certainly very well for inspection. But once you want to do, once you need to do uh, micro soldering, like boards like these one, this one is, uh, the MacBook 2015, it's as small as phone, you can see. And with this board, it's really, really difficult to work if you don't have a microscope. So if you're really going into the business of micro soldering and uh, you're planning to do micro soldering, don't waste money on, uh, on cameras and things like this. It will be a waste of money and at the end of the day, you will end up uh, buying a microscope like I did in the beginning I started with cameras I checked them I don't regret buying them they were fairly good 
but it did help me uh, solve problems uh, when it's liquid damage, things like this. But you cannot, you cannot compare it to the microscope. What you see here is uh, is a major difference. I mean, you can't you can't tell here while you, while you're watching the images here. You see that it looks okay, but it's not like what you see in the microscope itself. I'm going to edit the video so you guys will be able uh, to see at the end of the video. I'm going to do a recording so you'll be able to see uh, exactly what you can see uh, in the micro in the microscope. Obviously, it's from the camera, but not from the microscope. But you will be able to see at least, uh, you know, uh, when you see it, you see the mic when you do micro soldering. It's important to see what the micro soldering look like from the camera, not like other reviews that they're showing, uh, you know, uh, uh, watches or things like this. You'll be able to have an idea to see how how good, how well it is. Uh, regarding the Ekans, uh, the shipping was okay. It, I received it in two weeks, a week, or 10 days, 12 days, or something like this, as far as I remember. It was well packed. I like the arm. Like I told you, it can be moved anywhere. I can move it here if I want to solder here. I can use it over here. And as you can see, one thing that I notice it's a little bit too high for me to solder in this case because of the 0.5 lens. So I need probably a higher chair, but it's still still okay. You can see if you want to solder, you can take the solder iron and use it. Your brain will function immediately. You'll be able to know where the parts are. That's why it's important to go with the micro soldering. If you do micro soldering, to go with a microscope, not a camera. You'll be able to touch anything you want. You'll, have, you'll be able to grab anything you want, as you can see, with ease. But uh, when it comes to uh, regular cameras, yeah, it will be harder. You'll always have to look forward and backward to the TV. So it's kind of not something that you want to do uh, when you do micro soldering. You must have a microscope in this case. Uh, as for the Ekans, they shipped it with this uh, LAN, with this uh, ring light. And this ring light is slightly weak and it's flickering as you can see. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. I did contact Ekans. They don't seem to be wanting to send another one, but I will contact them again regarding this after I do this video. It's not really uh, stable and it's not as strong as the other one. But other than that, I'm using the other ring light that I bought before uh, with the other microscope camera from Ekans, and this one was really steady and good. Unfortunately, this one is not the best, but uh, it is what it is, you know. It's not high end. It's not so expensive, and I think it's uh, it will do the job uh, for you. If you want to go into soldering, don't waste money. One thing as well you need to know uh, if you're going to buy it, the most important thing is to buy the Balolan. The Balolan is 0.5. All the others are really official. I I will probably will never use them. Uh, the camera, yeah, camera is camera. If you want to buy, you can buy. But if you don't, if you're not planning to make videos, don't buy the camera for now. You can always buy it later. Now, if you are on budget and it's uh, it's hard for you to buy uh, this set, which is expensive, it's about it cost about uh, six hundred dollars, six hundred Canadian dollars, six fifty. It's about four fifty, five hundred US. If you're on budget, you can buy a different set like this one. You can have a look here on this set. I have this set. These ones, they are much cheaper. You can buy them. This one is now on sale. And as you can see, it's $2.92, free shipping. I mean, this is really, really great, great deal. I mean, $2.92 with free shipping. You don't receive the camera, obviously, if you don't need the camera. It's about 200 US. I mean, the price is amazing. So if you're planning to go to soldering, to do micro soldering, buy something like this. Don't don't buy a camera for 150, 200. You'll, you'll be wasting your money. You know, it's, uh, you can't, you can't, you will not be able to do micro soldering with a camera. It's not as stable as this one. I think this one is a great option. Uh, it's, uh, this one is selling at shop one, one, 
zero two. You can have, you can find other from Ekins as well. It's slightly more expensive. I don't know the difference between them, but again, without a camera, you can definitely uh, find good deals. You can find this one. This one is about uh, three seventy, and I think it's a great, great deal. Uh, so if you're on budget, buy something like this. Definitely don't go, don't go and buy a camera from a micro soldering unless unless you need it for inspection. Remember to buy the Barlolan. This is a good set. I think that they're selling the 0 0.5, the two you're not going to need. This is the protective one. These are good deals. So uh, yeah, it is what it is. And uh, regarding the light, I, I was not very happy with it, but you know, it's a budget uh, microscope. Now, uh, like I said before, I can't compare it to other microscopes like uh, M-Scope uh, and other brand big names. But I think uh, for, for, you know, for soldering, it's great. It's great to do micro soldering. You can see things that you can never dream to see in a camera. So, uh, yeah, the difference is, uh, is huge. So uh, if you want to buy it, go buy it. I will edit the video, like I said, uh, at the end. I will uh, add some, uh, some uh, footage of uh, the motherboards and you'll be able to see what uh, you can see via the camera remember that in the microscope you see much much better images uh, the quality is better than what you see in the camera uh, it will just give you an idea somewhat what you can see and what you can do with this microscope uh, so yeah anyway thank you for watching and good luck